Hey, just wanted to make a video uh, related to uh, safety and things about these uh, homemade air compressors. A um, couple things. One thing you never want to do is point a, an air nozzle at anybody. You know, you can blow something in their eye, or these things can hurt you a whole bunch of different ways. And actually, they're only rated for a certain pressure, too, so you have to watch they themselves don't blow apart. Anyways, a uh, couple things. One thing you need to do is have a pressure relief valve in your system because if you walk away and leave this compressor going full tilt here it could blow your air tank apart and you know that could really hurt somebody bad so you have to have a pressure blow off valve um, I can't accept any of the risks you know if you go building your own uh, compressor head for this so I just wanted to to make you aware of that um, I've had things happen. I had uh, an air hose uh, blow apart by the cylinder head just due to the heat that uh, one of these uh, puts out. Uh, you know, nobody was hurt or anything, but anything can happen. So just make sure that you're careful because when you start dealing with pressures of uh, up above about 60 psi or so, uh, 60 to 120, uh, you're, you're building a lot of heat and uh, it can damage components and things. So you have to be careful. You got vibration, heat other things coming into play there so uh, the higher the pressure the more dangerous it gets so I just wanted to make you aware of uh, the dangers involved uh, it can be safe but you know you, you need to to know what you're doing and uh, I would uh, build a steel head with uh, like factory made uh, one-way air valves uh, one on the inlet and one for outlet and uh, you know if you, if you do things right and you use a pressure relief valve, uh, it should uh, work well for you. Like I say, I haven't had any uh, major problems with doing this, but, you know, I'm always there with it. I don't run away and talk on the cell phone for 15 minutes and let the thing run. You just, you can't do that with this type of thing because it's, you know, it's a homemade uh, uh, piece of equipment here, so you have to, uh, you have to watch it. I mean, with this particular one, you got the belt drive. Some kid could come across in your yard and get tangled up in the belt drive. So. When I operate this, I'm I'm there operating it, like driving a car. You don't get out of the car while it's driving. You know, I mean, you know, you got to be sensible about these things. Anyways, just wanted to uh, to mention that. So uh, you know, have fun doing it, but at the same time, uh, you know, I want you to be safe. So okay, thanks.